Hello everyone, Brian here. I don't often replicate things that I just simply see on the internet and wonder about. Um, this particular one, I kind of saw it. I, I, it. It almost looks like it should work um, as an inertial propulsion device. It, it's fully rotational. It's not a swinging back and forth, although there is reciprocating action. And by reciprocating action, I mean that these two arms sometimes are straight across and sometimes are closer together and sometimes are farther apart. And if, if I can run this really slow, you'll see exactly what I mean. One of them, the bottom, as it comes across the bottom, you see that it moves very, very fast in comparison with the other one. Now this was all built by taking measurements from a photo, not necessarily this photo, but this is one of the photos that I got off of the internet. Um, this was taken directly from the video where I, where I had seen it. I didn't see any uh, other published information about it. But here's the thing. It worked great in the video. However, it doesn't work quite as advertised here. Now, if I, if I simply run it here, we have, we have absolutely no wheels or anything underneath it. This thing really does try to, try to move. It tr does try to take off. The problem being, it has a tremendous amount of friction. It does not like to move. So, what we need to do is eliminate the friction by putting it on some sort of rollers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just simply put it on a couple of pieces of pipe. Now I've done all of this before, and, I, and, and so I kinda know where we're going with this. Um, okay, so now it will roll really easy right up until it falls off one of the pieces of pipe. And here we go. Ah, uh, now we're not really moving as much. We have an awful lot of oscillation back and forth, forward motion, backward motion, backward motion we call reversion. And there's so much reversion that it doesn't move forward once the friction is taken away. So basically this is now a stick slip device. Now, if you look in the picture here, you see that he's got it on wheels. All right, here's the thing. And this is what I didn't notice immediately. You notice this wheel? This one is straight for, pretty much straightforward. This one is at a bigger angle. So basically, we've got it on a set of wheels in this video where the, they are towed out. In other words, you know, they're, they're not pointing in the same direction. They, they kind of point away from each other so that it does not roll easy. It actually rolls with a little bit of resistance. And that little bit of resistance is all it takes to make this actually work in the video, uh, but not work here on my nice level workbench, unless it's got lots and lots of resistance. As you see, I'm just holding it with two fingers, and away it goes. So. That's what I wanted to bring to everybody today. I don't normally do these kind of videos, but uh, I said, well, you know, that looks really, really simple, and I just need a little diversion for a few minutes to, to take my mind off of things. So, hey, everybody, please be good to each other. Keep experimenting. Keep trying. Keep building things, and, and let everybody know the results, because the more, the more information is out there, uh, the better off everybody's going to be and uh, so please be good to each other and uh, thanks for watching.